everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am coming to you with hashtag journal prompt 2024. It's hosted by Life with Patty. And what she does is each week, um, it's an open collab. Each week she gives us a prompt and we have like a workbook that we chose at the, uh, to do uh, the prompts in. And Patty is pretty, you know, laid back so you can join in anytime you can catch up you can do whatever you want she would like you to have something in the beginning of your book like a, 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 the prompt was to tell about yourself right and what you do so mine was for instance um i taught uh, i did mine about being crafter and being a cat mom and being a reader and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, you can do anything you want. So I'm a little bit behind. Um, so week 36 through 42 is what I'm showing. So, um, yeah, so I'm uh, sorry that I haven't been posting, but I had to happy mail that I wanted to to um go out and making the item uh, items in it and hey in them and uh, takes time right you're putting your heart on, into it and uh yeah i just wanted it to be special so i took my time with it and cutting in um cricket is not always fast so uh anyways so the 30 uh, week 36 was yarn and when I took, I took the second definition of yarn. When I th heard to, uh, Patty say yarn, I said, I don't have anything yarn wise here. Wait a minute. Can't we just do an old story, which is so that I took the second meaning of yarn and it's a long kind of story that is kind of blowing out of proportion <laughs> slightly um and uh unre unrealistic but it's also usually telling you a story and giving you information as well what is the best um old sailor's yarn but moby dick um and moby dick is that type of story is that you're you're gonna be yeah in the belly of the whale and yeah stuff like that so it's unrealistic but it's also giving you a lot of store uh, of knowledge and i've got some quotes here that uh from the book and i also took this from the book so um yeah so that's what i did there so i have i have a die cut that does this um and then I got in stamps and then I put the um, wheel and of course got to have a whale in there and the um, sailing boat and yeah and um, a reel and stuff like that so yeah I think it came out kind of cute and it's a different way to look at yarn right next one was friendship you can't have friendship without poo you can't I don't think so anyways um, I used to be really obsessed with poo. I'm still love, I love poo. Um, but, uh, yeah, this one is just Owl doing his thing and poo and Piglet there uh, listening, kind of, probably. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just friendship. You got the tree. I did all this with my inks. I didn't want it to be very, um out there and then this i forget where i got this paper paper from it might have been thelma hall so yeah i really liked how it came out um for the one where it was um a magazine page i took this page from one of my crafting magazines i thought it was so beautiful and i didn't want to do much else with it I did put some pom-poms down here and I put some pom-poms up there, but I didn't want to do anything else with it. I thought it was so pretty. 
these must be die cuts that they had. And, oh, I love this. It's simple. It's, oh, I love it. I didn't do anything else with it. I just like the how it came out. The next one was Ocean Life. And everybody that knows me knows I don't have any problem doing uh, projects with um, nautical stuff. So, got my whale in there. Got this down here. You know how to make these sandy bottoms? Sandpaper. Yes, um, that's an old trick of mine. I use sandpaper when I need a sandy bottom for um, or, or beach or what have you. So this is at the bottom of the sea. And I've got some things down there. Got a little um, angelfish and... Um, Think Bobby Joe. Can't think of it. School of Fish. And this is just some paper that I've had for forever. And what I was trying to do with these weeks is trying to use things that I've had forever. Um, and this paper I have had, I don't, yeah, I don't even want to guess how many years. So I've been really concentrating on using what I have. And, um, that's my thing. The next one is fall theme. So this is my fall theme. And what this is, I try to make this look like, like it's got all green and red into it, in it. And I try to make this scene like it looks out in my backyard. So I've got this tree here. Um, I've got a little uh, birdhouse. I have... Um, a little uh, chippy we call him chippy it's chipmunk <laughs> and these usually are we get a few of these uh, blowing around but these are all over our backyard because we have like six seven great big trees that are all maple leaves and they are as red as red can get right now and they're falling to the ground. And this is Mario's little bowl out there that he puts all the feed in. He puts nuts and, and seed out for them. And then there's a couple of these things. This thing. This thing. This thing. I've had forever. And um, yeah. So I thought it was cute. Just kind of made the scene out, out back. Next one was mail. So mail I just made. And again, this was one where I wanted to use up some things. I have had these cute little snails in my in my um stuff for for ages. And I just took I didn't use some scraps to make um this outline here. It's kind of quilt kind of look. Um I just used scraps for that. And this just opens up and I just decorated the inside. So um, it just looks like that. And yeah, I just put my favorite things. So time with Mario, time with friends, family, Mario and Che, of course. Reading, um, crafting, watching critters, YouTube and swinging outdoors because we've got a beautiful swing. So I've used these um, snails throughout this, and I just wanted to use them up in something cute. And then I just had, I'm trying to get rid of all these uh, little dots too I've had forever. So yeah, I'm trying to use, and I like this stuff so I don't get rid of it, I don't purge it, right? And then finally, the one with um, lace. So I just did this vintage one. Again, these are things that I have had for ages. Um, and these little dots again. And uh, yeah, so I just put some lace underneath one of the birds. She is adorable. And yeah, I just thought that came out nice. This paper, paper I believe, is from Dollarama. I think Eleanor picked that up for me. Um, so yeah, I think that came out pretty cute. So I think I did pretty good 
for being behind. Like I said, you know, I was doing Happy Mail and I want to put my heart into it, right? So I really, um, I, um, I'm really detailed with it as much as I can be. I am running out of paper. I don't think I'm going to make the, I think it's like what we've got 10 more to, right? four or five. So if I doubled, see, I wasn't double doubling up. Um, so until like I doubled up here because I figured it wouldn't be too bad with that. I d and didn't double up there, but I doubled up on the envelope and this. Um, so I think if I double up, I should be fine. Because there's, what, 10 weeks left? So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, I think I might have enough. Eventually, I do want to put something on the front. And, uh, yeah. So, this is how thick it's getting. I don't know where I'm going to put this afterwards. I don't know what's going to happen. Because um, there's some things in here I want to keep. So, yeah, I think I just might, um, I want to do in, um, maybe January, I'm going to be doing major cleanup at the top of my, um, at the top of my bookcases. So maybe I'll just spread this out a little bit and, um, have it up there. I just want to clear that off and, and mostly have it for, for decorate at like putting little things up that people because I have a lace book that I have up there right now that kind of gets hidden away I find and stuff like that so yeah I can't uh I can't wait till we're done we get to go through them all again so all right now thank you for stopping by you guys again check out uh, life with patty I will put her link below and, um, yeah, I will be trying to have, um, I will be trying to have, uh, uh, do the book, um, hashtag, uh, book tube Thursday, I think it is. Um, anyways, I'll be trying to get, get that done this week. I didn't have time last week, but, um, I'll get that done. I finished like three really good books and I want to talk about, them. okay. Thanks guys. Bye.